High ticket offers. You probably already know that I'm someone who's passionate about adding a high ticket offer to a coach or consultant business because of the difference it can make to the coach and the difference it can make to the clients. And so in this video, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes to a webinar I did for some of my subscribers where I explained just why adding a high ticket offer is such a game changer. And I also share some of the behind the scenes details of what happened to me when I um, stepped into my first high ticket offer as a client and why I'm so grateful to the person who created a high ticket offer for me to say yes to. I will warn you, it does get emotional, but it should be emotional. This is, this is life changing stuff. I also have some questions at the end which will help guide you to what an amazing high ticket offer could be for your business that would deliver a fabulous transformation, desirable transformation to your clients and really work for you too. So go ahead and watch that and leave a comment below to let me know how this impacts you. So let's talk a little bit more about why it's really important to have a high value offering. Those of you who have been around me for a while will know that, um, you know, I do beat the, the drum of you have to have a higher priced offering. And the reason for this is because the ceiling on your income is the maximum priced program that you have. If you think, if you've got a customer who's a raving fan, they absolutely adore you, they would do anything um, to, to learn from you, to be part of what you offer, to have what you offer, the ceiling on your income is the maximum amount you charge that customer. And so for a long, this is a strategy that I've been teaching my clients for many years, and I have many, many success stories of people ramping up sales really fast just by adding this in. Now, what I'm going to show you in this webinar, if you are someone that's been around for a while and you've heard me talk about this before, I'm going to show you a new twist on this that is really just sending sales through the roof. But many of my clients have, um, you know, with a high value program um, or offering, ramped up sales very quickly. So I'm thinking of Catherine, for example, who um, created an £8,000 package and within a month had sold three of them and therefore had made 24,000. Now that was from a standing start. Now she was extraordinary, um, and, and, and not everybody can do that, but it's, I'm just using that as an example of what's possible. Now the other thing is, um, and this is, becomes very relevant as we go th um, through uh, the formula I have for you today, is the more margin you're making on the sale, that means the more you have to invest in lead generation. You know, big, big, big mistake that I see people make, not just in online business, but in business generally, is when they enter the market, they think they have to position themselves either at the average price or at the lower end price in order to be competitive on their pricing. Another reason why I don't like that high volume, low margin uh, business model. And and the fact is, the moment you do that, you're really putting yourself under pressure because the fact is, you need to have those margins to deliver outstanding service to your, your clients. Tom Peters says, you know, if to, to deliver amazing services, you have to charge price points which allow you to deliver amazing services. So when you start lowering your price, not only are you shortchanging yourself in terms of the fact that you're not going to make as much money as you could, you're actually shortchanging your customers too because you haven't um, created the space to provide the most amazing um, solution for them. So, you know, you do need to be making those margins and in any business, there is going to be a cost of sale. There's a cost of acquiring a customer. And so you need to make sure that that is factored in in whatever um, whatever you're offering, you know, that there's enough, there's enough margin for you to be able to fund acquiring that customer. In my experience, um, the moment I found the courage to create the higher value offering, my business really transformed. I got far better results uh, for clients and I got far better success stories and testimonials. And I realized that <clears throat> when I had my business based on selling an ebook, you know, someone who buys an ebook, you've done it yourself. You're not massively invested. You know, it's easy to read it and then you might lose interest and it gets stuck away and you forget about it. When I created my first um, big ticket product, uh, which was a £500 product teaching people how to attract corporate clients, um, I noticed immediately that I got better quality testimonials and success stories. And then when I stopped to think about it, I thought, well, of course, because if you were paying 500 pounds 
to get a box of um, materials, um, you're going to open the box. You're going to you're going to do the exercises. You're going to read the assignment. You know, that's not something you're just going to forget about or, or brush aside. So I have a saying, the level of investment equals the level of transformation. And I truly believe that the more highly invested a client is, the more they're going to do the work, the more they're going to show up, the more they're going to um, take your advice and follow your instructions, whatever it is that you're helping them to achieve. There is also something, and I've experienced this myself when investing in myself, there is some kind of magic that occurs when people invest at a high level. And I'm going to give you an example from my own life, um, which is going back to 2007. And I had my first son. I hadn't had JJ. I, but I had my first son. He was six months old. And I was at that point where I knew I just had to make a leap in my business. It was time to really step up. And the trouble was having just had my baby, you know, my income was going down, not up. And an opportunity came along to work with a mentor. And to work with this mentor, the investment was £13,000. And I, $13,000. And I'd never invested anything like that in my life. And, and actually, I didn't even have the full amount to invest with him. But I did have enough for the deposit. But it was scary writing that check because that deposit equaled 100% of my savings. So when I handed over that deposit, I was totally operating out of faith. And the funny thing was, was um, that was around March time and our first meeting was in May. And be between that time and the meeting in May, suddenly I had an idea um, of a new um, sale that I could do, a new promotion that I could do. I put it together quickly, it took about a week. I offered it out to my list and I made $16,000 from that sale, which was more than I'd ever made from a sale before. And I knew at the time, and I know this down to my tippy toes, that that, that ability to see that opportunity was 100% connected to the investment that I just made in myself. Because I, I experience this all the time, that as you step up, it's like as you make that step, as you make that leap, as you take that step of faith, it's like the opportunities open up. You can suddenly see things that you can't, you couldn't before. The act of stepping up and taking the leap of faith, it expands you in a way that you can now see things and perceive things that were there all along, but you just couldn't see them. That opportunity to do that promotion had been sitting under my nose for the previous six months, but I had not, I was not able to see it but something shifted in me when I stepped up. So I, this makes me emotional because I'm so grateful that he created that opportunity for me to step up, that he believes in himself and the value of what he was offering enough to create that level that required me to stretch and step into because what made the difference? Absolutely, I got tons from his program, but the real transformation happened in the stretching and the stepping into. So when I talking to you about having a higher value offering, this is not just because it's good business sense. This is because I think you're someone that makes cares deeply about making a big difference to your clients. And, and, and one way to do that is to raise the bar higher for them. And, and to get them to step up. And to do that, you're gonna need to step up. So, <clears throat> you know, I've touched on this already. We're talking here about the 80-20 rule. And the fact is, it's the top 20% of your clients that will generate the 80% of your profit. So my thinking for many years has been, well, given that's the case, why aren't we just designing the business to focus on those top 20% of clients? Because you're gonna get the best possible results with the least amount of work. So I've got some questions for you. Who are the 20% of your client base who are gonna deliver 80% of your revenues over the next 12 months? And who are the top 20% of that 20%? So 20% of 20% is 4%. And I find this statistic over and over and over when I look at businesses, there will be a top layer of 4% in any customer group, in any customer list, who are what I call the premium buyers, and they are the ones who are waiting for that higher level offering. And this is why if you've got any type of customer base at the moment, 
Um, I can absolutely promise you that the fastest way, if you only take this strategy and nothing else that I'm offering you on this webinar tonight, you go off and create a higher value package for those people, you will see your income ramp up very, very fast. Because if you've got any type of customer list, I can assure you, you've probably got people sitting and waiting for your invitation and your, that opportunity. The key question is, do you currently have an offering in place which is exciting and big enough for that top 20%? You know, when I started putting this in place in, in my own business, my first big ticket offering after that um, uh, training program I told you about, the Attract Corporate Clients program, I put together a year-long mentoring program. My knees were knocking as I did this because I had never charged that amount before. The price point for that program at that time was seven and a half thousand pounds. And my knees were knocking, and yet um, about a third of the people who said yes to that program were people who'd been on my list for a while but had previously never bought anything from me. And it was because these people were really serious. They didn't want to mess around with an ebook or a one-day training course. They're like, you know what, I, I just want to know everything that you can show me. I'm not expecting this to happen overnight. I, I want to commit to working with you for a full year because I recognize it's going to take that long to make a significant shift in my business. So count me in, Bernadette. So, you know, there's a good chance if, that you haven't been thinking big enough. And so I really want to challenge you on this webinar to think about what would be the offering that would be really exciting and big enough for that top 20%. What's the solution that they would pay almost anything to get? And if you don't know, I can tell you a very fast way of finding this out. Go out and talk to some of your existing customers. Go out and talk to people who are already paying you and you know, ask them, you know, what's your biggest challenge right now? What's your biggest frustration? If I had a magic wand, what would you ask me to conjure up for you? They will tell you. And, and the reason that these kind of conversations are important is because often we can get so blinkered about what it is that we provide that we stop paying attention to our customers, you know, and it's not called paying attention for nothing. You know, you pay attention, that's a fast way of getting paid more. Start to pay attention, start to ask those questions. You know, the next thing to ask is, you know, are you raising their ambitions high enough? You know, are you giving them something to stretch into, to step into? I just shared with you a magical experience that I had when someone raised the bar for me. So are you being complacent or are you really encouraging your clients to step up? Are you getting them to think big enough about what's possible? And I guess the real question underneath that is, are you thinking big enough about what's possible? You know, this is this is not just about getting them to step up. You have to step up and be willing to play that bigger game and, and be willing to ask more of your clients and, your, and yourself to play at this higher level. Are you stepping up to play the game with them? You know, you, your clients are going to mirror you. If you're not stepping up, they're not going to step up. You know, if you're making excuses, you're going to get clients that make excuses. If you constantly, when you come across a new opportunity as someone who says, oh, I can't afford it, guess what you're going to get reflected back to you and your client base. So you need, you need to be willing to step up in how you do things. So, you know, before I move on from this first um, piece, remember I've got three pieces to share with you. The final thing that I want to leave you with is, you know, where are you positioning yourself? Because when you put, when you create your high value offering, immediately you're positioning yourself in the penthouse. And, and yet, you know, you can't do that with bargain basement prices. You're asking me, what's the fastest way to generate an extra twenty to $40,000 online? You cannot do that from the bar bargain basement. Or if you want to be in the bargain basement, I can't help you. But if you are open to the possibility of a higher level offering, even if you, you might not know exactly what that looks like yet, and I'll let you know about how we can help you with that if you're, if you're not sure. But that you know you need to be open to that because basically the choice is bargain basement or the penthouse you can't play in both zones at the same time so if what i'm sharing here is inspiring you out of the bargain basement and into the penthouse not just for you but so you can serve your clients at a higher level i urge you to check out get clients make money because in this program not only am i going to help you create a high ticket offer that really serves your clients in a deep and transformational way and simplifies your business so you can make more money while working less. 
but it's also going to help you to have greater impact. It creates magic for your clients. So I'll add a link below to get clients to make money. And I look forward to seeing you in there very, very soon.